Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. Welcome back to the Hollywood Art Museum. Today we will be visiting The Spy Who Loved Me by Hoboxia. I did my homework for this one. I haven't seen The Spy Who Loved Me, but someone in the comments confirmed that it is a James Bond movie and I watched a couple YouTube videos about it, including the original trailer for the movie, so I at least have a basic understanding of what the movie was and what it was about. I'm interested to see what they built. I know there's a big ship in the movie, I don't know if maybe they made a ship for the base. A ship as in a boat, a really big boat. <laughs> I don't think it's one of the movies that has like a space laser or anything. Would have been cool if they had built a space laser for it. I see, yeah, there's a Nomad Geo Bay there, so this must be the planet. Yeah, Bond, James Bond. Nice. Of course, we had a lot of Waking Titan excitement over the weekend. You can watch my Waking Titan 1.5 reports. I did four of them, I think. Basically one for each live drop, because we had four live drops. And... It will be interesting to see if anything happens this weekend because Saturday is May the 5th, which a lot of people thought that 1.5 was talking about May the 5th, as in, you know, oh, wait a second. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. It was the 1st of May. Yeah. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 1st of May, 1.5. I doubt anything's going to happen tomorrow on a Tuesday. Oh, it's a 007, I see. And there is... Oh yeah, it's like a submarine. I wonder if I'm going to have to dig it up, because it looks like they... built a submarine and it's underground. That's... Pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try digging it. Is this a... Uh, here I am showing my ignorance of the movie already. I don't know if this is a... It's probably a car. Or something. Or maybe it's a boat. So like I said, I know there are... There is aquatic travel involved in the movie. So, yeah, this is probably some kind of submarine, probably, that James Bond used to get to the bigger submarine, maybe? I'm just guessing. I'm going to drive people crazy in the comments, making assumptions, but it looks like the kind of vehicle that James Bond would use to get to the villains submarine. So let's see if there's something more to this. So terrain manipulator, negative, big as possible. Ah, looks like it's just built to look like a submarine. There's actually nothing under it. Oh well, sorry Hoboxia, I didn't mean to uh, mess up your very clever design of building the top of a submarine so that it looks like there's a submarine coming up out of the water. Pretty neat way to do it. But there's a race, so let's do that. Uh-oh. Please don't tell me this is a... Uh, I am not doing another Colossus. No way, I'm not doing another Colossus race. I'm going to build the buggy Geo Bay and use that. Yeah, everybody used to call this thing the buggy before the 
before the update because the game files called this thing a buggy. So for the longest time before vehicles were added, everyone called it the buggy. It's like, I can't wait till they add the buggy to the game. Now we don't really call it the buggy anymore. We call it the roamer or the exocraft or the vehicle, whatever. Elon Musk bought this in 2013? What? Like, what, like a submarine? Not sure what they meant by that. That's probably at the portal over there. Okay, let's do this race. Sorry, Hoboxia, I'm not doing this race in the Colossus. I'm going to do it on the the uh, roamer hopefully it's not a super super long race in which case I may not do all of it if it was intended to be for um, some kind of Olympic event uh oh oh no there's water did he really seriously expect us to race through water in the Colossus? That would take hours. The Colossus is so insanely slow in water. It's already slow on land, but take it under water and it's like driving a mail truck. <laughs> Trust me, mail trucks do not go very fast. You can see how slow it is just using the roamer down here. But it's a good thing I didn't use the... Um, the Nomad, because the Nomad would float above the water. It wouldn't be able to go down here and get these checkpoints. There is a James Bond movie, because I, I watched a video of um, all of the James Bond movies ranked from worst to best. In one James Bond movie, he uh, drove, he had like a car that was able to be submersed and he drove the car underwater. So maybe that was Hoboxia's intention to have a driving a car underwater thing because it's it has happened in James Bond movies. Yeah, this race didn't seem too long. So I'll go ahead and do all of it. Fishies! I don't think you can kill fishies by driving near them like most creatures. That's good. Okay, can you even kill fish? Can't remember if I've ever tried to kill them. I'm pretty sure you can kill them. I know you can kill sharks, but there's not really any reason to kill the little fish. And there's a shark after me. <laughs> That's nice. Seems like something out of a James Bond movie. Yep, definitely could not have done this in the Nomad. I would be stuck on the roof of the underwater tunnel. This is a pretty neat race doing going through underwater tunnels. Oh, I was afraid I was going to crash there for a second. Crash as in my game would freeze. I don't really crash much at all. Of course, one of the probably one of the reasons I crash so little on PS4 now is because they lowered the amount of flora on all planets, I think. It's definitely really low on 
lush planets, but I think there's less floor on all planets too. So I think they did that so that we would crash less, but I'm hoping because a lot of Waking Titan, um, a lot of the info in Waking Titan is hinting towards improving memory or recording memory because it keeps saying that memory loss is imminent, that loop 16, the, well, probably, yeah, loop 16 or the Monarch Repository, whatever that is, keeps having um, data loss imminent. So it seems like the major problem in the Waking Titan storyline is there isn't enough memory space. And, of course, Ennis McKendrick said in his GDC talk in 2017, he's the lead programmer for Hello Games, um, he said that they have a lot of trouble with memory. When they try to add more flora, uh, it causes a problem with memory and it causes crashing and all that. So, they probably decrease the amount of flora after that, um, like in Atlas Rises. But, what, um, but hopefully what their plan is, is to increase, um, to increase memory capability of the game so that we can have more plant life on planets without crashing, without having memory problems. But anyway, I'm going to leave a comm station. I wrote, nobody does it better, Hoboxia. <laughs> of course, I, I think it is, I think it's this movie, um, uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, that has the song, Nobody Does It Better. I could be wrong, but I think, I think that's the one from it. Uh, I hate that it looks bad. I messed up the, uh, the submarine with my digging. Oh well. Sorry Hoboxia. Let's see, maybe I can get an angle that won't really show that in the shot. Yeah, I guess that'll do. So anyway, this has been Hoboxia's The Spy Who Loved Me 007 base. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.